Welcome to the Edupedia World, virtual world free education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use some common math functions like count and count e function and to identify the difference between them. The count function returns the count of cells containing the numbers only and count e stands for count all. Count e works in the same way as the count function except that it will count everything such as numbers, text, dates or a mixture of these items and both of them will not count the blank cells. Here is an example in which we have different data type in cells B2 to cell B10. Some cells contain numbers only like B5 and B9 and other cells contain both text and the number mixture. And because they want to show the result of the count function in cell B11, click on it. Then from the ribbon on the home tab under the auto sum functions, select the count function. And you can see its name is count numbers. That's mean it will count only cells containing numbers. And you can see that the range by default is wrong and I will correct the range manually. The range is rounded with dotted lines. I will drag from B2 to cell B10. Then click enter or click the right sign to finish. Using account it will return the value 2 because we have only two cells that contains only numbers which is B5 and B9. In cell B12 I will use the count A function and I will search for it in the dialog box for insert function. From the formula tab, click insert function. Type count A in the search for a function box, then click go button. In the result box, select count A, which is the first choice from the list, then click OK. Another dialog box is opened for count A arguments. In the first value, drag over cells from B2 to B10. Then click OK. It will return 9 that represents the count of all cells because count A counts everything. It counts all the cells in the range. But as we mentioned before, they cannot count blank cells. Let's insert count function in cell D11 to count the above empty cells. Of course, it will return zero because all cells are empty. And the same also for count A. It will return zero because there is nothing to count inside the selected cells. Or simply, if you clear data from the previous range, it will reduce the count result by 1 in both B11 and B12. Thank you for watching Edubedia World videos. See you at the next video.